Hello guys, Kelly here again, tanktime.co.uk Another product unboxing, even though as you can see it's clearly unboxed Reason for that, I only ride motorbikes, I don't have car, I've got a few bikes I've got a big sports tour with a full luggage set And it turns out that's what I do my shopping on And I had to unbox this because it's that big that it won't go in my top box So that's the reason behind it's already unboxed and an unboxing I had to do it in the car park and then put on the gear, it fit easy <laughs> once that had done, but it's a biggish filter. So, let's get to it. Have a look inside. So, what you get with this kit you get a bag, which I'm going to open. No point to doing unboxing. In fact, I'm just going to move this because be it how big that is. <laughs> right, get one bag. This is a spray bag, clear plastic, not bad quality and there's the elbow joint for it so obviously I'm not lining the, bump, the, the, the holes up real but it's a big one so as you can see a three section spray bar, clear slightly dark plastic but pretty nice quite happy with that On the deck, two long, uh, two lengths of, what, uh, of tubing, 22 16, so 60 internal, 22 external, that's one of them. So that's going on your plugging into your tank, cut as needed. Obviously, the Tetra Tech book, this is the EX 1200. Tetratech EX1200 canister filter comes with a ton of action in it. The big one, this is the big one. So a quick, quick eyeball, eyeball. So it's allegedly for 200 to 500 litre tanks. Now it's got a flow rate of 1300 litres an hour. I always take that with a pinch of salt. Um, most of them, if this has got a thousand, I'd be happy even though it's meant to have 1300 I mean some are, some have a lot less I've got an E-arm upstairs which is a brilliant filter but I did a test on it yesterday it was a bit gummed up, I've cleaned it since but you've got to watch your maintenance for litres per hour because that one was doing 18, it's meant to do 500 so I did a bit of a test but anyway I'll get back to this so here we have the actual head which I'll show you putting on in a minute, wherever it comes. So yeah, you've got, oh there, they feel good. Very nice, feeling the tight, the new. But yeah, very nice quality uh, taps. That actually feels really nicely made. Don't actually know to do half of this, but I think you might have to have it in first. Anyway, so, let me check something. Oh, yeah. you, you, I was just being a bit gentle. I am heavy handed, I do break a lot of stuff. So, there you are, you push it in, that one down, that's your open and close. So, when that's down, the taps are open, when that's up, it's closed, and then that just locks it all into place. So, I've just pushed it in, as you can see, as you might be able to see, there's a lot of grease, so it's, it's nicely vassed up. Yeah, it's just Vaseline by the smell of it. So yeah, you've got a couple of uh, rubber rings and it's all Vaselined up ready to go. I believe as I do this, does some spin round. Yeah. So anyway, enough of that. Have I got any more bags? I've got more bags. I'm going to regret button doing all these because I'm not going to use it for a week or so. So, here we have the, the intake. Ooh. Right, so I'm not going to get all these out because be it, there's a million of them. Um, just suckers with different lengths of, I suppose, I would say shafts. <laughs> so it's, you know, so it depends how close you have stuff to the tank. So yeah, different 
lengths of them, two different lengths, a short one and a long one, and just loads of them, as you can see, full baggy of action. Then you've got your intake. So, that's quite nice. So, it's got your elbow joint, this goes in. You've got an adjustable pipe, and then a strainer on the end. Very standard, just so you can get it the right height for your tank. There we are. All screw on, so you put your pipe in and you screw it on to keep everything together. Same with the uh, other elbow joint for the outflow. Yeah, it's all standard gear. Get them out of the way of it. Ditch your bag. There's a couple of spare washers. A couple of rubber washers. Same ones what go around all the, all the action. Right, so here we go. Big boy. So it's got an handle on the top, which I hope you can see. Don't feel as sturdy as it could. I'm sure it is. It's solid plastic, but it's a bit, a bit rocky. It's fine. Got a primer to, to prime it. And then two clips there will come up and over. And then I'm just turning it. It's on nice rubber feet. There's a couple of flaps there what you push up and then that raises off. So, I'm just going to move this out for a sec. So there, so that's where the water comes in, this nozzle, and it, there's a, a pipe all the way down through every basket, so all the water comes in at the bottom and then gets pushed back up. Your impeller is here. So there's your nice impeller. Nice and easy to take out. Yeah. And that's all locked again, so that's pretty much that. Keep getting grease on me. I say it's all all greased up in the actual unit head. Which is good. I'm happy with it. Can't go wrong with a bit of grease. So, this big bucket. You have on the top a strainer. Again, that's where all the water goes down. I'm not going to have enough room on here, so just give me a sec. I'm just going to move some action. Because there's a lot of trays in this with it than the big boy. There we go, all that action on the deck to deal with later. So, first tray, top tray, as it comes. There we are. So again, it's got that in which you all lock together. Nice little lifting handle. A poly pad. I mean, you can cut your own or you can buy them. I mean, it's only cutting it all out. And a couple of grooves out of a standard pad. So there's a standard filter pad. What have we got in here? A couple of bags of activated carbon. So they're in a plastic bag, but they're also in a net bag underneath. That's a decent amount. Just keep you going. And a black sponge. A big coarse sponge. So, only thin, but... It's the bottom, I say, that's just on the bottom of the tray. What you're meant to have your carbon and your bags in. I'm going to put them all back together. So just uh, in the ball with me. Or I don't forget where everything was from. So yeah, so them in there. And then, oh, then your polypad over your carbon and your sponge. Bosh. Tray one down. Tray two feels like. I'm going to guess, let's have a look, two black sponges, so a couple of big black sponges there, nice and coarse, Ooh, an handful of some up there, tray three, bio balls, very small bio balls, quite nice ones to be honest, if you can see them, very nice bio balls. A lot of them in this tray. No else in it, just bio balls. So a ton of bio balls in there. Not bad, not bad. I'm not against them. Not for them massively, but I'm not against them. Oh, this is heavy. And that 
is the fourth tray. So there's four trays, and then that's just a big, leery, empty bucket. And it is a big bucket as well. So, I've got another black sponge, another black coarse sponge on the top. Ah, and then we've got lots and lots of ceramic rings. You can already tell that they're not very good quality for biological filtering, but because they're the smooth type and they're in the bottom tray, they're used to catch your waste. So again, that's mechanical filtering. All the muck will get caught up in this mass and that. Then move up to your bio balls and your black sponges, you know. And I'm not going to keep this media in. I have got, I'm going to, I might keep them in. I'll put some ER mech in, which are the plastic corrugated version of this. I will be keeping the black sponges in each one, because, you know, I'm all for that. But in the bio balls one, there's a chance, in fact, no, in the double sponge one, I'll be putting EAM substrate in, just because I've got two filters, what I've got mature media in, and I'm only using one of them on this tank with this new one. So, the one that I aren't using, the media is going to go into one of these baskets to be already fully seeded media. So, I'm just going to sling it back together so you can have a bit of a git of it. I wish I had to put them back on top now. Uh, oh, there's, there's arrows. Arrow to arrow. So there's an arrow there, there's an arrow there. You know which way around it's all got to be. So, ceramics and sponge. Bio ball. They've just clicked together. This, uh, that's what's clicking together then. So, double sponge, and then carbon, black sponge, and a filter pad. You know, some filter floss, there we go, clicked in. Then your general strainer on the top, lid by the handle, or motor unit lid. So, these two big ones up. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Pram, pram, pram. So that's the Tetra Tech. I have heard nothing but good things about them. Now, this is, I say, a 1300 litre an hour filter. Big capacity, all the media, all the pipes, and everything I've just showed you. In my local fish shop, this was £46. Now, they're not meant to, I think they're meant to be 100 ish quid, 120 quid. But there was on sale at half price there at a minute, 93 quid, which I was happy to pay. That's what I actually thought there was when I took it to the counter and said, these have got 50% off the listed price. So I, th I was prepared to buy it for 90 odd quid of the Queen's English pounds, Her Majesty's pounds. But it turned out I got it for 46 of Her Majesty's pounds. So I'm very happy today, very happy with this filter. Can't wait to get it running on my tank. So I've got a signature, TMC signature to go upstairs and my Lido which I've had to strip and is now in the process of being cleaned back up to get used again on my new bench. So anyway, thanks for watching. Tanktab.co.uk. Bye! I wish I'd have said that after I'd got to the camera. Bye again! <laughs>